Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike. I am the American Analyst, and tonight we're going to be talking about Nevada, Bernie, and the future of the Democratic Party. If you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitter and Minds, and like this video. I'm coming out with new videos every single day. Let's get into it. Okay, so the news of the day, obviously, concerning uh, the Nevada caucuses, excuse me, uh, the Nevada caucuses and the results therein, and, and Bernie, it was a smackdown. It was Bernie smackdown, even from the beginning, uh, when I was, saw the results coming in, it, it was clear Bernie was winning. He's got 46% of the vote, and the thing that I want you all to keep in mind when you see 46%. First off, I think Donald Trump won the election with 46% of the vote. Pretty sure that's what it was. But look how many candidates there are. Donald Trump got 46% of the vote with two candidates, essentially. Now, there was uh, the libertarian guy, uh, Ron Paul, and uh, Jill Stein. Um, but it, those were insignificant. You have... What, four candidates getting over 5%. I mean, Klobuchar. Klobuchar's, Klobuchar's out. Everybody everybody should drop out. Everyone should drop out if they're not. Basically, these four. I don't... Klobuchar's done. She's done. Get out, Klobuchar. Um, I think that... It's, it's going to be Bernie Trump. It's going to be Bernie Trump for the election, and it's going to be nuts. It is going to be an insane election. If you thought 2016 was an insane election, if you thought you couldn't take five steps without hearing something about it, it's going to be way worse. It's going to be way worse because Trump supporters will not back down. Bernie supporters will not back down. It's going to be crazy. It's two rams headed at each other. Um... What's that line from Batman? A, an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. That's what it's going to be in 2020. It's going to be insane. And the Democratic establishment, they have done all they can. They have done all they can outside of outright rigging it. I think they're shadow rigging it because that's all they can do. They have, they, that's all they can do. Their credibility is so small they have so little credibility that anything anything that they do that is improper is immediately reported far and wide everyone knows about it immediately i got one that there was one delegate that pete got because pete pete's delegate drew like a spade like they literally just drew cards from a from a card deck to decide who got the delegate but that's the only story i heard Look, there's over, what is that, almost 2,000 delegates. And that's the only one I heard. So, I mean, Bernie's got it. He's got it. There's there's going to be a couple more challenges. There's always the debate on, I can't remember when, it, I think it's Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. But there's another debate right before South Carolina. We will see how that goes. I don't think it's going to change anything at this point. Um... I think after the, I think their only shot was the Demo, the moderate Democrats. I mean, I think their their only shot was Bloomberg, which is why they pushed him so hard. They tried to get him on the debate stage. That was their only shot, and he he blew it. He blew it in the debate. I think I don't think there's any doubt about that. Um, which brings me to this. Um, they're calling Bernie, the New York Times, the Teflon candidate. And that's an interesting phrasing because they call um, Donald Trump Teflon Don, as in nothing sticks to him. So you can attack him 100 times, you can attack him 200 times, and nothing works. Nothing works. And and the media does not see the the stupidity in this. If you attack, it's, it's just the boy who cried wolf. This is what I'm trying to say. It's just the boy who cried wolf. 
the Teflon candidate. That's all it is. That you attack someone 200 times, 100 times. Well, their supporters are like, well, you, you did the same thing five times last week. What do I care? Why do I care what you have to say? Why do I care what you have to say? And I think that's, that's as true with Bernie as it, is, as it is true with Trump. I just want to read you this one, this one passage. It's right here. He has not faced the same vetting and scrutiny that other frontrunners have faced, Mr. Cott said. A lot of that may have to do with the fact that nobody thought a socialist with these radical views would be the frontrunner. First of all, first of all, he has. He has faced that kind of, of scrutiny. But it wasn't the right kind. No, you didn't mention he was a socialist until now. It took you this long because you tried to get his supporters. You tried to, to wiggle the 7 and 10 millennials who support uh, socialists. You tried to get them out of, you tried to get them out of supporting him. So you didn't come out. This is, this is a beast of your own making. You, you deserve Sanders. You failed. So now we're going to have what could be the most contentious president. Ah, I hate saying that. I hate saying that. Every election is the most important. Every one. Every single election. This is the most important in a generation. This is the most important election we've ever faced. All right, settle down. And I and, and see and see even I, I even I get riled up. I have to bring myself back. It's going to be all right, but. This is going to be a very contentious election about the future of our of our country. Are we going to start to go more in towards a socialist direction, or are we not? It, we'll see. We're going to see. But the biggest thing is you you earned this, New York Times. That's you. This is you, right here. A lot may have to do with the fact that no, okay, he has not faced the same vetting and scrutiny. You're a media company. You could have done that. You could have done that. You had every opportunity to do that. The guy's been in politics for 30 years. I'm not worried about it. I'm not. I think Trump will win. I think he will win. Um, but it's going to be brutal. It's going to be a very bitter election that is all i have for today if you like what i do please be sure to like this video subscribe to me here on youtube and follow me on twitter and minds i come out with new videos every single day have a good one thank you all for listening this is mike the american analyst follow me on twitter minds and subscribe to me on youtube and be sure to hit that bell notification i'll be coming out with new videos every single day for your viewing enjoyment. Have a good one.